Well, it's a very nice neighborhood in Shingle Springs, and it's, I think we have a total of seven homes. And this has been an ongoing battle with not only the neighbors, but the county and um, several different organizations, the animal control and human services for the elderly woman that was in the house, uh, which they took out with an ambulance. And the animals has been an ongoing thing with them not being fed and not watered and going days without water. And, and these people were working the system and it was very difficult for anybody to process any kind of uh, getting into the home. They weren't opening the gate because they never left their home. And uh, animal control had a difficult time. The eviction process took years and the, the prior people who owned the home lost the home due to them not paying for a couple of years. And she told me, I friended her because I was her next door neighbor. And she, she would tell me, you know, how many horses she had and how many dogs she had. And, and she said it was 165 dogs in the home. And I had a hard time believing that, but their count yesterday was 270 something dogs actually in the home. And the horse count was, I think it was 26 is what she told me. And I don't know what the exact count was yesterday. What did, what did you, uh, what was her motivation? Did you understand? You, I think it's a classic case of mental illness, uh, hoarding. I, I never saw any animals leave. She couldn't part with them. And she was breeding them, which there's no animal rescue that I know of that actually breeds animals. And she was breeding dogs. She was breeding horses. She has a mother horse, a mare that's in foal now. She's in with the stallion. She has her two-year-old stallion from a couple of years ago that was born. She has a mare that's in there with it now. The stallions are breeding the yearling filly, and the mama's due to have another baby in a matter of a month. And they're all penned in a small pen right next to my house. And she, she just, there's been horses that passed away here getting sick, and she buries them on the property. And it's just a, it's been an absolute mess. Were you, were you ever telling her like, hey, she needs to? I tried. I tried to talk sense into her. I tried to, you know, talk to her about housing them a little bit better and feeding and watering. I've called her many, many times. And, you know, as a neighbor, you know, I went through her a lot first because, you know, she fought with animal control and that's a process to get it done quicker. And she just never did anything. I had problems with stallions being on the, on the fence. You know, I didn't want them to get through to my horses over here. And it's just, she, she just never, just never ended. <laughs> They're over 60 years old and they can't physically do the work. They would hire people in to work for them and then they would get mad at them and, and run them off and fire them. She had them sign waivers saying they couldn't speak to anybody off the property, about the property, and none of her help ever went in the house. Nobody, no. I would talk to the help over the fence, but nobody was ever allowed to in the house. Even yesterday with the eviction in the morning, they had a U-Haul truck. They were gonna put all the dogs in the U-Haul truck with no destination planned. And luckily, so she, luckily. She knew that the eviction was coming? Oh yeah, she was, oh, she was, she was very aware of the eviction. Yeah, she, she told me days prior. But there's many of these horses, animal control's taken a lengthy time getting them out because they can't halter them. They're, they're wild horses, they haven't ever been haltered. There's, many of them are stallions and they've never even been handled. How did it get reported? Were you the one who reported it or? You, honestly, the eviction process, they ended up having a higher powered attorney in the Bay Area that was able to get this eviction to happen. Well, how do, how do you feel? How do you feel today seeing this happening? Yesterday, the whole neighborhood got together here in the cul-de-sac in celebration that this is getting resolved and these animals are going to a better place and being cared for. Um, literally, we were all in shock at how many animals were in there and the conditions and, and what we were told the conditions were. It's under investigation, so we're not allowed to you know, speak of what we've heard, but it's, it's more than unimaginable 
what happened in that house. Some people were saying that they thought that animal control had been aware about this for a while and hadn't done anything. Do you, do you know why they wouldn't have done anything? I don't know if they were totally aware of how many animals were actually in there, but it's, it's a question we all have of why it took so long for them to actually do anything. And these people, I have to say, are very smart and conniving and they work the system. And they're threatening, they're scary. I think a lot of people with animal control were worried about losing their jobs over this, you know, by doing the wrong thing, you know, legally. And they just, they just left and not been arrested or anything? I mean, no, no. No, one woman was allowed to leave with a few of her dogs. I believe it was six of her dogs and and the other was not allowed to take any, I think due to the condition of the house. The air here and the smell, it was, it was beyond, I mean, the people that had to go in the house were sickened and they've seen a lot of this. And it was, it was beyond imaginable of how it was in that house. And I live next door and the smells have been atrocious and the flies, Go years. two houses down the, from the this for the last six years. And in the winter time, fortunately, this is a drier season now that they're actually in here. But during the winter, these horses are up to their knees in mud and muck. Really? Yeah, all winter long. Does it snow here? It's extremely Extreme. terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's ten tons better right now just having that house emptied out. I can't, I can tell you honestly, it's not only the, the noise of the barking dogs, because they barked a lot, but it's, it was the first, last night was the first night where it was actually quiet here and we didn't hear hundreds of barking dogs.